RISE prepares young people who are interested in science careers. There's a plethora of programs out there. See, when we were looking at the situation, we came to the conclusion that there were um, two, two facets to collaboration. There is the art of collaboration. When I talk about that, I'm talking about the relationships. Relationships built through um, you know, decades of one's career. And there's a lot of collaboration already going in Monterey in the educational arena. There are big groups that are meeting once a month, talking about you know, what they're up to. There are subgroups within those big groups, and then there are sub-subgroups within those big groups. And they're all meeting, and they're all aware of you know, what each other is, are doing. But then there's another side to collaboration, and that's the one I want to focus on today. And that is there's the science of collaboration. And when I talk about the science of collaboration, it really requires, I'm going to summarize it in three basic elements. It requires management, a single entity of deployment, a single entity that deploys these assets. It's going to require robust use of technology, shared outcomes, not 90 grant requirements or 90 goals based on your grant requirements, but basic outcomes that we can all share and work towards. <coughs> And then finally, it's going to require leveraging existing assets. When I mentioned that we don't need any more programs, but we, what we need to do is leverage those existing programs so that they're maximized, they have maximum impact, that they're functioning at capacity. If they have capacity for 100 students, that there are 100 students in that program, because there are enough young people out there that need support. So let me sort of paint a picture for you guys. So if I was, let's just say, a 16-year-old you know, junior in high school today, and I am a beneficiary of a few different assets, I'm, I'm going to call them assets, but we're talking about, let's just say, um, I go to the Boys and Girls Club every Tuesday for a leadership camp. So I'm a beneficiary of that asset. I go to Rite every Wednesday um, to do some science experiments. So I'm a beneficiary of that asset, so on and so forth. You would think that all these different organizations would be talking to each other, sharing information about you as a young student. And not only that, you would think that they would be talking to the school and getting information from the school about, I don't know, whether or not you got a D in math or science. Believe it or not, that's not happening. There is no information sharing. So if I was one entity, I'd be looking at you as a student with one prism, another organi organization would be looking at you from another prism. There is no comprehensive picture around this young person. So how exactly do we know that we're providing that young person with all the programming that they need to succeed? Well, this science of collaboration basically says that if you add a layer of management around it, and on top of that, you add a layer of technology, what then happens is that the schools talk to the organizations, the organizations talk to each other, there's a single record for that student, and then we can essentially take a look at that student's needs from a wraparound perspective. We're getting 100% of the picture versus 10% or 20%. And so when that happens, you have an equitable distribution of assets across the board, and you have a higher likelihood of supporting that person, that young person, in succeeding in life. And what I'm describing to you is not just a theory. It's happening today, and we're working with a local high school today with the support of the school district in implementing this model with the support of a bunch of other, what I call assets, those boys and girls clubs, the rises of the world, etc. cetera. Um, and so we're doing all this. We're, we're, I'm throwing a lot of sort of management um, terms for you guys. Efficiencies, coordination. But here's the deal. Education at its core is a service delivery challenge. It's a service delivery challenge. And the business world, with all its flaws, et cetera, that we're all aware of, um, has solved every single service delivery challenge since the early 1900s. And in spite of all its flaws, it's about time that the education sector and the business sector begin to cross-pollinate. Because at the end of the day, it's about young people. It's about young people fulfilling their dreams and 
making good on our promise as the next generation that they will have the opportunities. What they do with that is their responsibility. But it's our job to make sure that every single one of them get that opportunity. So I want to thank each and every one of you for your time this afternoon.